Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to a Starman Talk the Talks. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy and Cody. Woo! Hey, everybody. You guys almost stepped over each other's line there. Don't you hate that? Yeah. So, speaking of hate, we're going to talk about our love and hate for our own hobbies. Uh, what this is going to basically boil down to is we're going to discuss a hobby that we have and why we like it and what can drive us nuts about it. Because not every hobby is perfect. Yeah. And we're going to start with you, Billy, because you have an interesting story. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you mentioned this maybe on another episode. Yeah, but I, I it's think worth I did. Repeating. But when I was down uh, for WrestleMania, I took in as much wrestling as I could. One was being Ring of Honor, Madison yep. Square Garden. Yep. Which was the. After the shows when uh, Bret Hart got attacked with the Hall of Fame in Brooklyn, and there was. Band sitting behind us, saying like, "Oh, it's, it was. Oh, but you know what this is all oh, is just a publicity stunt that WWE cooked up because we're because Ring of Honor is in their home arena, and they're in the back place." And I'm like, "No, no, no. you're wrong. Stop." Uh -huh. And I'm like, no, I mean it's <laughs> hmm. then, well, and it's the only way I ever really went in a little bit more. But rumors of what happened. Yeah. He <laughs> possibly a disgruntled fan that stood in line at WrestleCon to meet Brett, and he had to leave when he was like two people away from meeting him. Yeah. I'm like, still, that's. So, yeah, fandoms, every fandom has those toxic fans that kind of ruin it for everyone. Yeah, like, they gotta complain about any little thing. Like, oh, like these... Or do a stunt like that where yeah. it makes wrestling fans look bad. Yeah. But it's that one guy had a problem. No. Not... No. Not... But no, it was like then two people were playing in there about like oh, stuff like like wrestling like back even like back to like teen A and like you know, so I'm like oh just because I like all kinds of wrestling and you guys are only WB fan. Boys or something, I watch WWE, not New Japan. Yeah. Or criticizing, like, I think they, people were criticizing about the new championship they unveiled. Yeah. And people was like, things are stupid, like, no, it's going to be back because it's like the 24 7 championship. Yeah. So, we'll cut, I'm going to cut you off there, yeah, because I know you could fill up the whole episode. Yeah. So. Sorry. And thank you. <laughs> Cody. Uh, card games. What about them? I uh, kind of hate how I tend to get into one and then find out it already died. Yeah. I'm sure we talked about this on another episode, but we'll cover a little bit here. Yeah. But, yeah, it tends to be card games and any miniature game or even board game collectible die off quickly. Yeah. And sometimes... You get into them when you find out they've been dead for years. Yeah. You are yeah. like the pro at finding dead games that no one plays anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying because then you get me involved and then I have to show you up by beating you in it. <laughs> and then we both then find you... out. It died. Oh, he just quits because... <laughs> Though he keeps kicking his ass in it. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, this game is not fun no more. <laughs> you look at me, but it's true. <laughs> hey, I don't disagree. Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of why I stopped completely buying, like, trading card games. Yeah, because you were, were wasting a lot of money on games that weren't. Yeah. I can't imagine. You could probably paste a wall with all the card games you have. Oh, probably two coats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which would Maybe. be an interesting stylized choice if you ever want to own your own house. <laughs> yeah, what's this wallpaper? Oh, it's... It's called Waste of Money. <laughs> it's called Waste of My Life. Do you like it?
So, I love playing the old retro games, but I hate how quickly they've gone up in price. So, getting the old retro games, really hard to get a hold of the oh. physical copy of sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, very good example of one. Uh, Harvest Moon was yeah. 60 bucks when I originally I got it, it was 20 Yeah, no, that's. And I'm going to throw that one out there. Rule of Rose was 10 bucks when I bought it. Mm. 400 bucks <laughs> if you want to buy it now. And you're just sitting with a big grin on your face. Yep. Well, one of my favorite games from Super Nintendo, Earthbound. Yeah. To buy it was like 30 bucks back then. It has like 300. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and that's just for the... Cartridge. Yeah, yeah, that's just the cartridge. Sealed is like close to 900. Yep. Yeah. Well, even with the whether it was a box of manuals, like half way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I can't imagine like mint and sealed, probably Ooh. a thousand bucks. Yeah, so yeah, no, it's crazy how those markets go, and then for people who just want to relive and play the game again, that's harsh. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Hmm? No, so that's. I think the way back I can bring up wrestling figures. Yeah. Any real collectible is yeah. falling underneath this weird market. Yeah. Well, one of the figures I have is worth a hundred bucks and not even in the package. Yeah. Oh, so. wow. There you go. <laughs> and no one will tell you which one. No, I could care less either way. So. <laughs> That's when you find out my whole collection is worth like a couple grand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that desperate for money. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> Other thing I want to throw at there is MMOs. I love MMOs. I just hate the grind to them. Mm. Yeah. Now. Neither of you are an MMO player. I know you for sure, Billy. Oh, no. So, I'm going to throw out this scenario to you. You tell me how stupid it sounds. So, you play an MMO, you create a character, and you have to get him up to a certain level before he can actually access the game. We'll say level 70, because that's usually the cap. Mm -hmm. And then once you hit level 70, you start getting these other levels that you put towards the tribute points to make the character actually stronger. And... Say I want to do, like, dungeon runs with a friend or something. We both have to be level 70 before we can join together and do a run. Otherwise, we're stuck doing the story mode quests. So, tedious the first time through. Now, say I picked the sorcerer. I had my fun with them, but now I want to play the rogue. I got to start from level 1, work that character up to a level 70. Yeah, no, that is... <laughs> that would have been, I would have been like I just wasted money on a game yeah thank god a lot of MMOs are free to play and then you pay for either um, in game currency and stuff like that yeah. microtransactions or some still have the pay monthly oh. which I would never get into because I would not have the patience Unless my monthly subscription included, any character you create starts at max level. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But then they wouldn't make money off people who want to grind their character. Yeah. True. And I'm sure there's guides and things out there to quick grind your character, but still, I shouldn't have to do all that. No. I should just be in a perfect world. I should have to make one character that I have to grind to level 70. At that point, any character I make is now level 70 because I've done the grind. Yeah. Because the initial grind is just for the first time player to get used to the new moves that the character learns so that they can customize and make the character the way they want. Yeah. Yeah. But when I've already done that once, making a new character, I don't need to do that again. 
That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, with, yeah. I hate how MMOs are for, like, solo players. No. <laughs> A lot aren't. Yeah. Why? Heck, I even know what going. It's called Massively Multiplayer Online. Yeah. But. And, I understand kind of what Cody's going for. I love just soloing a lot of games, yeah. MMOs included. Yeah. I know that's not the purpose. I should be meeting friends and that. Yeah. But I'm not a very social player. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm saying I'll give. Yeah. The last one was 16. Yeah. It was multiplayer only, and I did not bother. No, because. They, they ruined the franchise for me on that one. Yeah. Yeah, because. You force multiplayer down people who normally would play solo. But, well, I'll digress from this because I think we'll have another yeah. chance at this with an actual topic on it. Other hobbies that you find annoying. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh. Say this was still with like internet fans. Yeah. Um. Anything to do with movies. <laughs> yeah. Like when the, the cast is an actor. Yeah. For example, when Ben Affleck was cast as Batman. Yeah. That's because Dare, they didn't like him as Daredevil, which was not his. I I admit I liked him as Daredevil. Yeah, it wasn't a bad Daredevil. The writing to Daredevil was dumb, and that's not the actor's fault. That's the producer and director. Yeah, like it's. Mm -hmm. I'll admit, I actually kind of like the Daredevil movie. Yeah. No, so it's that some people just can't uh, take the actor as who they are and then put them in another role. They yeah. only see the roles they did. Yeah. I also wonder if it's half because we've seen so many different Batmans lately. Yeah, no, and Batman's not a hard character to nail down, in my opinion. No. Like, I'll admit, Ben Affleck played a pretty decent Batman. Yeah, yeah no, I mean... <laughs> I know one... I know it was a few other times with George Clooney. He even apologized for that one. He's like, I'm sorry, I, I was a bad Batman. Yeah. <laughs> and, but yeah, not really his overall fault. No. The director was really trying to destroy Batman. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Tim, when, when Joe Schumacher took it over from Tim Burton, he knew. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that entire Batman Robin was a Garbage fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I thought, did they make this as a joke? For the most part, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and I think we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we've said enough for that. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say video games. What about them? the internet people okay so I'm, well, uh, we're, we're and, past this point yeah, yeah. we can say um, as much as we want about internet fans true um, they're not all bad I'm going to defend a lot of people oh yeah but at the same time there are the toxic fans yeah and we can go on for hours on those I also kind of hate how sometimes there's games that claim you can do stuff in them. Like, oh, explore a vast world. Yep. And, and then you get into it and it's like, here you go. And it's like... There's this vast world you promised. <laughs> a lot of MMOs do that. Like, yeah. here's the vast world, but no, you can't really explore it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like... Like, it's supposed to be an open world and, like, some of the areas that can't even go in. No. Um, games with invisible walls. Yeah. Th those drive me up the wall for a few reasons. One, it's just bad design. 
to have an invisible wall. You could put a texture or something to stop me. Yeah. Because also, too, if it's not marked that there's an invisible wall and I run head first into it, I, I, I get a little upset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh fair. Fair mm -hmm. enough. I think I remember one invisible wall I ran across was I think Fallout New Vegas it got to the end of the map and I'm like oh I can keep going wait whoa, why can't I move forward anymore yeah. oh you bastards well one thing you're at the end of the map yeah <laughs> but Still, kind of has a point no, oh, no, a no. texture or something yeah, yeah it's like, hey, we uh, weren't looking at the map and he was like Oh, why can't I go forward? Oh, okay, great, now I'm on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> help, I'm stuck in the box. Yeah. Like, put a fence at least. Oh, uh, my favorite is, like, they put, like, a, something that your character could just easily step over. As, a, like, this yeah. is why you can't progress further. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this knee-high wall is preventing you from going to the next area. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. That's even worse because that's like a poor attempt at putting stuff in the put where the invisible wall is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I, I've this sort of fits in with a game like um, I don't I can't remember what we called it, but the just features of game you can use mechanics. Yeah. I, I made a joke about, like, the Arkham games before. Yeah. I'm like, why can't Batman... I made this joke with somebody. Why can't Batman jump? Did he break his legs? Oh, you got to jump for all that gear. <laughs> True. Mm, yeah, yeah, Bill does have a point. <laughs> he does carry a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he glides. He can't jump. <laughs> However, though, you can kick someone in the head, so... Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and do, like, a Matrix kick. Do Matrix kicks, backflips and rolls and everything. He's pretty agile in that suit, so... It's not the suit weighing him down. He just can't jump. <laughs> Batman can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it some of that does drive me up the wall. It's just the uh, unexplained reasoning for something so simple. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, a lot of horror survival games where I have to switch between the gun and then the flashlight because my character cannot, for the life of them, hold a flashlight and a gun at the same time. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. I feel like I'm playing with a one armed person. Yeah. It's like. And even still, put the fucking flashlight in your fucking mouth. Or. <laughs> Get some duct tape and tape it to the gun. Yeah. There's no reason I have to go flashlight, gun, flashlight, gun. Yeah. In the middle of a situation where some unholy monster's coming at you. Yeah. Okay, put away the gun. Pull up the gun. Pull up the... F Where'd it go? <laughs> and you hear a hissing behind you. <laughs> oh, God. Or... Games where there's no pistol whipping. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I have to switch between to a melee up. These were the old style shooters where one you had uh, some melee up and an axe, a knife, or yeah. your kick or yeah. something. And then you switch to a gun. But you can never kick it ever again, mm -hmm. or I can't hit with a melee hit from my weapon. It's why not? Yeah. I'm out of bullets and I don't want to take the time to switch back to the melee weapon. Yeah. Let me bash this guy off with my gun. Yeah, that really is annoying. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. It's like, got such weapons, I hate them. I'm like, at least Perfect Dark I actually had the option. Yeah. And you just hit B and then you just walk to, to pistol whip. Yeah. Which, okay, I have to have one funny joke. It was still like, my buddy used to tell me, this is what I do with a pistol whip, pistol whip in man. 
He said it was just a guy at the end, the pistol side of the whip of like, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that would be effective. Not really, yeah. but. Well, I'd be worried about the gun going off. If you, if you, oh, that's when you put the safety on. Yeah, but still. Oh, well, it's then, a video game. There's also such thing as safeties. Yeah. Also, <laughs> still, why are you using the pistol just to whip people with? No, it depends on what game you're playing. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know I'm, like, really harping on no realism, but, like, I don't mind... I can understand, hey, this guy's carrying a sword that's twice the size when he's swinging it with one hand. Sure, make believe world, probably he could. Mm-hmm. But simple actions that aren't explained why I can't do them are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like... <laughs> it's like, why can't I go over here? Because you're not allowed. Why? Because we said so. Because we didn't program this part of the yeah. area. <laughs> Stop trying to explore. <laughs> Look over there. A room full of energy enemies. You'll like it. There'll be blood and gore. No, I kind of want to check out that forest over there. No, don't go to that forest. Mm. There's nothing there. <laughs> we didn't program it. Okay, but okay. like you know, it does look kind of nice and inviting. Oh no! Stop making at the forest. Room now. <laughs> you're gonna go in that room. You're gonna kill all those people, and you're gonna love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then you butcher them all. Did you love it? Not really. I wanted to go explore the forest. Can I go see the forest now? Yes. We made the <laughs> next room the, the forest. So why did I have to kill all those people? <laughs> we yes, said so. <laughs> So many people had to die for this forest. <laughs> Congrats, you got your forest. So many people died for it. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying that no one had to die because I could have just went there right now, but you said no, go into this room first. <laughs> Alright. I, I know this bugs you because it bugs me. It's when you're movie collecting. Yeah. And movies are on double sided. Oh, yes. <laughs> and well, it was like a movie, you're trying to watch a movie, and it's one where uh, you got to flip the disc holder and you can watch late. it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's why I, I look at some of the movies, mm-hmm. or I just get them on Blu ray. Yeah. Um, Blu ray, well, you'll never have that problem, but if you're me and you're not a Blu ray player, no. Because I'm behind the times, like horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta read and watch out for that shit. Yeah. I'll admit, I find that annoying, too. I think everyone does, and there's... Yeah. Yeah. I would rather that than, uh, two discs, though. Oh. Yeah. Like... That, that's sort of, I mean, that's like, like Gangster New York. Yeah. Well, multiple disc, uh, DVD. Yeah. There's yeah. Movie. I'm like, once again, this is why I got that and the Goodfellas on... Blue right? Right, and I think it was another movie I bought on DVD. It was the Time to Kill, and you had to f- like flip it halfway through another mm-hmm. one. So yeah. that's so I mean that's so solved that one because I couldn't afford it on Blu-ray. Found on VHS. Nice, nice. Don't have to flip a VHS. Nope. <laughs> Take that DVD. <laughs> Yeah, because now the double layer DVD, if either one side gets scratched, that's it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, I think we were anted long enough. And yeah, no. Sure, uh, everyone's like, please shut up there yeah. now. Yeah, uh, we all good. We got everything out of the system. Yeah. A bit, yeah. We're all relaxed. We're all calm. Yeah. Let's play some freaking Mario Party. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this has been a Talk to Talk. I'm your host, Devin. Billy, dang it. I'm Cody. Have a great night. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>